The Devon Machine you guys, you can make these crazy AI visualizers just like Shay for completely free. Opened up on his YouTube channel here, you guys can see with the release of his new album, he has a bunch of these unique visualizers. This one here is super cool. I'm gonna go ahead and play it through. You just get a basic animation. Now, my favorite one is if we go ahead and open up this one right here, we get these crazy animations. Before we hop into this video, I gotta pull you guys aside for a second and show you what I got going on on my website. We're offering a buy one, get one free deal for the holidays on everything on the site. And alongside this, we also have fast effects for $170 off and you'll get two free editing packs if you order fast effects. Now this buy one, get one free deal is so crazy because it works up to an unlimited amount of times. And if you're looking for new editing packs to cop, we have this brand new geek effects editing pack. It has these crazy drag and drop brain rot effect overlays that are super simple to use and work in every video editing software. So if you guys are looking to create some effects like these, there's over 350 unique transparent files you can put in any video editing software. Every pack on the site works with the buy one, get one free sale. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out and get some new effects for the new year. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can create stuff similar to this today using AI and how you can get the low quality look, just like on the text here and everything else. You get the rabbit in the background, the eyes. We're gonna be diving into all that and how you guys can use this strategy to create crazy looks for your artists and for your own visualizers as well. This doesn't have to be strictly for visualizers. You can use this for scenes in your music videos as well, but let's hop right into it. So we're gonna start off inside of Runway here. If you guys go ahead and attach your email or Gmail to an account, you'll get a bunch of free credits that you can start with. And if you run out of credits, you can just make a brand new Gmail and create a new account. To start, we're gonna go ahead and go over to this text to image tab, and we're gonna type in here what we wanna create. So in Shay's case, everything sort of has this theme of like a rabbit or a bunny or anything like that. So we're going to kind of create that today. And I'm going to show you guys how specific you have to be. So we're going to go ahead for this one here and write 4k quality, very good movie like lighting. So that's very specific there. We're going to go ahead and hit generate now. All right, so we have a bunch of these here, as you guys can see, they all look super sick. Now, what you wanna go ahead and do now is pick the one that you like the most. So let's say we like this one here. I like the way this one looks. Now we're gonna go ahead and click these, go to dashboard, and we're gonna open up a generative session now. We're gonna click select asset, and we're gonna open up the ones we just created right here in the text to image. And we're gonna pick the one that we really liked, which I believe was this one here. What we're gonna do now is generate it. So you can change the time right here, 10 seconds, five seconds. I'm gonna go with five seconds here because it uses less credits. And now you just wanna let the program know how you want it to be generated. So we'll do, We'll just put that and we'll hit generate. I feel like if you go too intense sometimes, it kind of messes the whole thing up and just wastes your credits. So you want to be specific, but make it super easy. And now we have this animation here. As you guys can see, kind of strange. We're going to go ahead and just download this now and save it to our computer. And now essentially what you guys want to do is do this a bunch of times with a specific theme. So in Shay's case, he used rabbits. We're going to go ahead and go back to the dashboard here, text to image again, and let's write And we're going to generate again. Make sure you guys have four selected here because it's going to generate us four outputs, which is better. And if you guys don't like any of these, like I don't really love any of these, we're going to go ahead and say. See what this does. All right, this is a little bit better here. We're going to go ahead and go back to dashboard, generative session, select your asset here. We didn't have to download it. It's going to be inside of here. Uh, pick the one we want, which is this one here. And we're just going to do rabbits coming towards camera. Hit generate. And you guys basically just want to do this a bunch of times with a specific theme. And then once you're done that, we're going to bring it inside of Premiere Pro. So this looks pretty crazy. The animation is kind of wild. We're going to go ahead and hit download on here and save that onto our computer. Now, what we want to do next, we're going to go ahead and create a new sequence inside of Premiere Pro. 854 by 480 here and hit enter. Now this sequence is gonna be super low resolution and that's what we want because we're gonna bring our footage inside of here and then export it at super low resolution. I'm just gonna go over and drag these inside of here and keep existing settings here. All right, now that we have these inside of here, I'm gonna go ahead and just bring them to the very beginning. And we can go up into effect controls here and resize them to our liking. We have this one here too. and just cut them where you want to be cut. And now that we have these two basic ones, I'm, I'm going to reckon you guys will have like eight of yours to play around with. We're then going to go ahead and add some basic effects to spice them up. So I'm going to go up on top of here, right click, create a new item, and we're going to create a black video here and then hit OK. I'm going to drag this in below this guy right here. And now with the black video below this one clip, we're going to go ahead and click on our clip, go over to effects, and we're going to 
search up crop and drag and drop it on if you guys do have premiere pro 2025 your crop will be inside of here as you can see so if we go ahead and just do crop top you guys will see it'll come down like that so i'm going to go ahead and crop the top to like 15 and then crop the bottom to 15 and then move this to the front and keyframe both of them here then go towards the end here and just bring them to normal and we'll get something just like this where the bars get shown I think that adds like a cool look to it. And now to add like the fonts or the cool text, what we can do is just press T on our keyboard and click. We're gonna write say so, cause I feel like that's what he has in a lot of his videos. And if you guys wanna do it in like a Shea-esque font, it's pretty much like any one of these basic fonts. You can even make it a little bit bold. I'm gonna go ahead and open up properties inside of here. We can make it bold, change the size of it. Clicking back to V, we can then click and drag this over here. Now what we can do is go inside of effect controls and go ahead and uncheck uniform scale. This is where you guys can play with like that crazy height here. You guys will see just like that, we get a super cool look. If you want to distort the text a bit more, you can go ahead and put mosaic on it. Under stylize here, drag and drop that on. It looks super wild right now, but just go ahead and turn it up to like 150 by 150. You can even make it more intense, like 300. And to animate it, you can keyframe both of them. Move your keyframes over, have this one go 250 and this one go to like... 200 and if we play it through you guys will see it'll be animated now just moving a little bit just like so cool and now we'll be using my new plugin fast effects to add some flashes to this they're just in between these two clips here i'm gonna put my playhead in and then just click this open area right here we're gonna go over to flashes i'm gonna put on a motion flash and then hit the check mark and a basic flash is just gonna load inside of here like that Let's do a basic flash at the beginning here as well. And you can play with the intensity here. We go ahead and turn that up there. Another cool thing that you could do to make this a little bit more unique is if we go to like this part right here, we can have a twitch. So if we cut like two frames right here and we drag this one over, we could then right click on it, go over to speed and duration and reverse it. And then bring this one back over and then this one. And you guys will see, we'll get like a glitch effect. I think it's pretty cool. And then I think to really sell this effect right here, we could download some stuff from YouTube. So if we go to like blood, We'll do like something corny like this. So now that I have these blood splatters inside of here, I'm just gonna go ahead and look for one that I like. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out a bit so we get the full thing. Get one right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on top of our clip. And to key at the background, I'm gonna go over inside of effects and just search out key. Drag and drop ultra key on here. Go inside of effects and just go ahead and click this. And then we still have a little bit around the area here. So what we can do to fix this, there's a couple of ways. You can go ahead and just play around with the settings inside of here. I think, believe it's inside of Mac cleanup here. We can just go ahead and turn that down. But if you do want to keep this area here and keep it, what I like to do is a little workaround, go inside and apply a tint. And then on the tint, we're just going to go ahead and change the black to red and then this to red as well. And now the entire thing is like this blood color. We'll also scale it up as well here. I think that really adds to it. Maybe we can put that over here too. What we'll do actually for this one is we'll take this blood splatter, put it over here, press command C on this, option command V, make sure we have everything pasted here. And now we have the exact same effects. Very cool. And then we'll go ahead and put a mosaic on this blood splatter. And just like before, we'll go ahead and make this like 200, no, maybe like 450. Okay, cool. And 400. And then to tweak it around, two keyframes at the beginning here. And then we'll bring this one to 500 and we'll bring this one down to 350, just so it has a little bit of animation and then drag those to the end. So now that we have this kind of like visualizer inside of here, we're gonna go ahead and hit I on our keyboard at the very beginning and then go to the last frame and hit O. So we just have this selected here. We're gonna press Command V. Now I'm gonna export this. We'll call this Shea Visualizer and we'll call this one. And we're just gonna export it as it is. So we're gonna go ahead and hit export here. And now we're gonna file new sequence. And let's say like your actual video itself is gonna be like 1920 by 1080 or 4K. Let's try 4K, 3840 by 2160. I'm gonna go ahead and make this fit here. And I'm gonna drag and drop this visualizer we just made inside of here and then hit keep existing settings. So now since we did it, you guys can see how small it is compared to an actual 4K one. If we do go ahead and zoom this in, we get that really cool low resolution look like in the video. And if you go ahead and put a song behind this, you guys will get a super cool visualizer. If you guys wanna make it loop, all you have to do is hold option, click and drag, right click, go over and change the speed and duration to reverse, and then just line it up here. Highlight both of them, hold option again, click and drag, click this, hit delete, and you're just gonna endlessly be like doing this till it like reaches a minute. And all you have to do is put a song in behind it and then you have this visualizer that's looping just like this on your artist's video. Now it's going backwards. 
now it's going forwards and it's just gonna loop like this for the whole song so if you guys enjoyed tutorials just like this make sure to leave a like let me know what other videos you guys want to see down below see you guys in the next video peace